puppy to doggy daycare so it could learn to socialize when she came upon the scene. A car parked on the side of the road, a dog in the distance standing on the yellow line, and a young girl waving her over. And she said, there's a lady laying in the ditch. And I said, what? She said, I think she's dead. That girl was 15-year-old Kiana Borden, out for a morning jog. She ran past the woman and her dog, and everything seemed fine. But when she returned, I go to step over, and the dog, like, comes at me. And I'm telling him to, like, back down because there's no, like, I'm not going to hurt him. And then I see the woman in the ditch. She called 911. Multiple witnesses, including police officers, described the dog as a pit bull. But the RCMP says it cannot confirm the breed. It was quite scary. He was very on guard and protective, but he seemed kind of nice. Like he didn't want to hurt me, but he knew that there was something wrong. Parker encouraged police to alert the public, which they did. Obviously, I felt very bad that this was this woman's fate. Um, but I didn't want anybody any further getting injured. While Parker was still at the scene, the dog was still on the loose, and it was near her home here on this dirt road that the animal was struck by a car and killed. When I drove up the McFetridge Road, I saw it, and I seen the, the pit bull. I knew it was the dog instantly, and I didn't uh, concern myself. I took care of the dog, and it was quick. Mark Taylor heard the news and says killing the dog was the right thing to do. It could have hurt someone else, and people's lives are more important than the dog's life. Police say their investigation continues. The witnesses say they are thinking of the victim's family during this very difficult time. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Chasswood, Nova Scotia. The investigation continues into the death of a 13-year-old in Knott County, Kentucky, who police believe was attacked by an animal. Kentucky State Police found Corey Godsey dead on a mountainside Tuesday afternoon after they were alerted to a possible animal attack. State medical examiners confirmed the cause of death is related to injuries that appear to be from an animal. But investigators haven't confirmed yet whether that animal was a coyote, dog, or something else. We're surrounded by, you know, wild animals a lot, but you don't hear of anything like this. I mean, this right here is very rare. Neighbors say it's not uncommon to see animals in the area, but they are surprised by the violence and offering support to the victim's family. Authorities in Beaufort County are on the hunt right now, searching for the animal that killed a woman. This is so sad. 77-year-old Brenda Hamilton, who's a teacher, died this morning after the unknown animal attacked her during a walk. Hamilton was a longtime school teacher. Neighbors didn't want to show their faces on camera, but they're upset to hear about this attack. She was just a steady, forward moving, positive spirit who's going to be so sorely missed. A person who just holds a community together. She was essential in the church, in the community uh, activities like soccer. She was essential in the church activities. Now, deputies say they found canine DNA on her clothes, but they don't know if it was a wild or domesticated animal.